All right, now let's look at the continuous backups with PITR. Now, continuous backups with PITR allow you to restore your table data to any second in the past 35 days. All right, and this is priced per GB based on the table size. An important thing to remember here is the restoration time or restoration window starts from the time you enable PITR. So if you just enable the PITR, then you're not going to be able to restore to any second in the last 35 days. You can only restore to a time from where you enable your PITR. So if you disable PITR and re-enable it, the 35 days clock gets reset. And the continuous backups do work with unencrypted tables or encrypted tables as well as global tables. And they can also be enabled on each local replica of a global table. Now we're going to look at what global tables are later in this section. And if you restore a table which is part of global tables, the restored table will be an independent table and it won't be part of the global tables. And the restore process, irrespective of whether it is a continuous backup with PITR or if it is an on-demand backup, the restores always happen to a new table. And what cannot get restored is the same thing as with the on-demand backups. So stream settings, TTL options, auto scaling configuration, PITR settings, alarms and tags. These things do not get restored and you have to set them up manually if you want them to be available for the new table. And all the PITR API logs do get logged in CloudTrail for auditing purpose. Now let's go into a demo and find out how to enable continuous backups with PITR and also take a look at how to run a restore using PITR. 